What's up guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Um, this is The Grow. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the, uh, the bell. This way you get notifications on every time I upload a video. Um, this is the current scenario that's happening in the tent, guys. Looks pretty messy, looks pretty ugly, but everything's actually under control. Giving you a quick Monday update. Um, so, everything that was maintained in here, tons of that orange mint and two uh, cloned basil plants. I am getting rid of those as of right now. I'm kind of getting rid of everything right here and making room for, I guess I'm going to do, oh, now that I thought about it, hmm, I still have this here. I was actually considering taking these carrots. If you're new here, I've been actually growing indoor hydroponic carrots. As you can see in there, I mean, look. Look at that guy. That's looking pretty good. Not bad at all. But they're pretty ugly. This is really an experiment just to see what can be done, if it can, if it can be done, and just how it how it progresses that's really the experiment here uh, the rebound has actually been pretty well after I've uh, you know I had to take the actual roots and carrots in the previous video I had to take them all out and put them into these uh, net pod covers I mean it's been a pretty big pain in the butt let me see does this no there's no real smell to these uh, to these tops but I mean I think it's a little just overwhelming for an indoor grow I mean uh, I'm really trying to keep this practical um, I'm really trying to try new things that's great and that's what i'm definitely trying to do <clears throat> but i'm also trying to maintain my own grow i i want to have you know all the lettuce that i really want and stuff like that so i have i actually just put a ton of seeds into germination for lettuce and now that i look at the area i'm not sure i'm going to have enough room because i usually go three reservoirs across this area here so it's usually pretty beneficial uh, not beneficial but it's it's practical for me not to have this here I would put it down there but more recently I mean there's so much going on right now <clears throat> I'm actually just move a few things out of the way here this is just doing incredible okay but what's what's even more interesting is I'm not seeing any flower off of this thing <laughs> I guess I guess so if, again if you're new to this channel this is um, two watermelon uh, I'm growing, I, I started growing two areas of watermelon. Let me actually see how they differentiate. It looks like they've actually like joined together to, I don't even know what's going on. So it's like this pod right here, that pod right there. But it's it's now growing really, really viney. I mean, everything's looking beautiful. This is gonna be such an incredible experiment. And <laughs> these, look at these guys are starting to curl up. It's like this trellis. This is acting like a trellis, which is actually genius. Um, we'll see how big this area gets. I mean, I think it's going to get really crazy down here. I already know because I've had the same system like this in, in previous videos when I try to grow indoor hydroponic cucumbers. It actually worked. Unfortunately, I was not able to um, manually pollinate the cucumbers to the best of my ability and they never fully grew. It just got really big. There was some sort of nutrient deficiency. The leaves started to go bad. It just got crazy. But overall, I mean, these are looking good. Okay, but I don't know. Uh, hopefully, it, hopefully, if I can grow something out of this, uh, that's going to be a dream come true. It's really going to be a miracle. It's going to be so cool. These leaves are so rough. It's so weird. I've never... It's so incredible, honestly. Like, the more I grow, the more I realize how crazy this whole thing is. Take a look up close on that. What that looks like, if the camera will let me. It's so like prickly and like this like crazy little little stem here. It's really neat. Yeah, I mean it's it's a beautiful thing. And I mean this thing is just like this cute. Look at this bushel. I mean, how much can I sell this to a local store for? You know, you let this if it looks just as good smell is every single time I make a video and I mean these if you guys remember in the previous video I had a ton here I had like uh, seven 
uh, mints there, but now I have them down here. I mean, I have this bushel down here. I mean, it's a number of seeds, but jeez, it smells unbelievable. I mean, I wish it was like really fragrant throughout the house. That would be even incredible, but this watermelon is doing really well. Now, okay, so I'm getting rid of that. I'm going to guess I'm going to do two reservoirs, if not three. If I might bring this one down here for the time being, let as I mentioned in the previous video, like 20 or so more days, and I'm and I'm and I'm cutting the cord on this day because let me take you over here. Look what I got down here. All right, I got all this going on, but I gotta what I gotta do is I gotta turn this off because it's so bad for the eyes. And also, so you see this thing, this is how I keep the cats out. And I have I have these on both tents. Let me bring out what I got going on in here. It's a real raw view. Look what I found today. What's going on here, though? I got I, I have flowering on. Let me turn on the light here. I have flowering. Look at this. There's literally a flower now growing on this watermelon plant. But these are so small. I'm so confused of of, of this whole situation. Like, these are not reaching for the stars. They're really tiny. The leaves are super tiny. But I have a flower. But on the other one, it's ten times as long as... Th I mean, this is three. The other one's two. But look at the difference in height. Look at the difference in, 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 the, in the foliage. I mean, look at this. Okay? This is three plants in the dirt. Now look at this. Planted at the same time. I mean, this is this is fed liquid nutrients. It's got oxygen pumping through. It does have more light. It's under a T5. It's under four, uh, four bulb T5. And this one, if you guys remember, this is under the uh, the LED right here. Let's see what I got going on here. These are looking pretty good. This is uh, lavender. Let me smell this. Whoa. Super, super lavendery. Very excited to see just the overall progress. I mean, I'm, I'm, happy, I'm happy to see how they're currently growing because there is significant results here. Uh, I'm, I'm so not a huge fan of growing with dirt indoors. There's a ton of online gardeners that have huge beds of dirt. Huge beds of dirt. First of all, it's just so ugly. Number one. Number two, it's got a weird smell to it. Number three, wow, that smells awesome. Uh, number three, I just, I don't know. Just like so kind of iffy about it. And these are my carrots. And I don't know what the heck's going on here either. They're not doing that that awesome. I mean, like, what? why, why is this curling up? I got little gnats. Honestly, the gnat situations with the dirt, it's a lot to keep up with. I mean, running around trying to do this all the time, it's like a lot of work. And it's becoming, it's becoming known, it's becoming a kind of like a burden when, even though this is an experiment, and I'm really happy I'm doing this now, just to really understand the difference and the difference in quality. I mean... This very, everything seems to be much, much smaller and the growth, the, the, the overall growth length, like, um, what am I trying to say? Like the bulkiness of the flower, the plants, the everything. I mean, watermelon, carrots. Look at the tops, okay? Watermelon, carrots, bam. I mean, the, the results are... Incredible, you know. Um, as of right now, I'm I'm T5. Okay, as of right now, I'm just saying, the LED is just not doing it for me. Maybe I have a low wattage LED. I'm not. Sure. I think it's like a hundred watt. Maybe I, I can't say that that this is too far away from the light. I mean, it's not that far. Okay, it's it's confined inside the tent. By the way, real quick, if you are the subscriber that asks me if you need to grow inside of a tent and what's the benefit. Um, no, you don't need to grow inside a tent. I have animals. They will eat the plants. They will mess them up and ruin tons of time of progress. Number two, 
when you have this type of um, mylar, which is I believe it's what it's called, it's a reflective material that basically when you have a light inside of one confined area, it's not just kind of going down on the plant. It's bouncing off the walls and hitting 360 around the perimeter of the plant, allowing for greater development. I hope that answers your question. Uh, so this is the story, guys. This is what I got going on. All right, we're past 10 minutes. Um, I don't want to keep you here too long. If you're new to the channel or if you've been a subscriber and you want to maintain a grow like this, we're talking everything from tents, uh, shelving, reservoirs, tubing, air pump, uh, fan, seeds, clay pebbles, everything, nutrients, pH reader, parts per million reader everything is right down below just click like see more or something like that and all the links are right down below hit those check out the products if you're into uh setting up your own grow that is fantastic i hope you do and also there's a link down below also for the facebook group hit that post your uh you know post your current status on your grow i will be able to post it right onto the thread it's a growing channel. We're doing really well. It's fairly new, but it allows us to uh, discuss, comment on each other's growth situations. I give consistent status updates on some of the cool stuff that are going on here. And it's like, uh, you know, it's, it's frequent and it's great. I think it's a great way to build a community and help each other on being able to grow anywhere, anytime. And that's, just, that's really important. That's just what's, what this channel is all about. And that's it, guys. So, again, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. And uh, I have a lot of new lettuce and a couple other varieties that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be maintaining an outside grow at my parents' house. I'm also going to be maintaining a, a, an outside grow here as, you know, spring is around the corner and summer's around the corner. And maybe even uh, at the shore we'll, we'll have some sort of grow so I can continuously uh, keep you guys tuned in on some progress that we're going to have. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit the bell, and I'll see you here soon. Thanks.